All right, guys, we're going to do, uh, going down here to the stand at the blacktop. We're going to pull the card out, see what we got. We're pretty early in the woods. We've got a uh, front coming in. Suppose they got uh, a bunch of rain and some cooler temperatures, so maybe that's what it's going to take to push this big buck out of the CRP field uh, right underneath us this, this evening. So uh, we're going to go check these cards real quick, see what's moving down here at these different stands. And uh, then we're gonna go get in it. Uh, Blake's behind the camera tonight. Um, we may shoot a doe. I don't know. The Migos down here. They, I'm pretty sure they want a deer. They normally want two or three a year. So we'll, uh, we may shoot a doe and uh, get it on footage. I don't know, but uh, definitely when that big buck comes out, we're gonna take him. And uh, we got none other than Blake behind the camera. So. Uh, it ought to be pretty good so anyway stick around uh, we'll be sure to uh, show you guys these clips of these pictures that we got who knows what's on it all right guys it's four o'clock uh, we checked our uh, cards on our other trail cameras um, we are uh, getting ready to go set up on the CRP field Blake's behind the camera like I said earlier and uh, uh, I got old trusty PSE here, and uh, hopefully tonight we can put a rage in the cage. Uh, there's a lot of freak nasty bucks out here. A lot of people they don't they don't like the freak nasty. Uh, I'll take a freak nasty. I'll take a big tasty doe, whatever. I'll take it all. Uh, let's see what uh, let's see what happens this evening down here on the CRP field. Come on.
I would call it a successful hunt. Um, we put out that uh, deer cocaine and uh, it didn't take them any time. Overnight they found that stuff. Uh, I've always thought that that was always a good starter uh, when you set up a new location. Pour some of that deer cocaine out on the ground, them suckers will find it right off the bat. So uh, we've got a, got a good little lick there started with the, uh, got a good little lick there started with the deer cocaine and now we'll put out some uh, apples and uh, give them a little sweet too. So uh, anyway, it got really dark, but those deer stayed underneath us for, for quite some time. Um, but uh, right as it got dark, it was too dark to show you on the camera and it was, I mean, just light enough for me to notice. I seen a very large deer. Um, I know it had antlers on it, on up in the CRP. It creeped down towards us real slow, and then I lost sight of it. It got too dark uh, to video that with the camera, but um, we just talked to the farmer and uh, the uh, amigos there and asked them if they wanted a, a deer, and they said they'd take a, a young deer to eat on for a little bit. And, uh, the farmer told us he's been seeing a, a deer outside past his ears. He said every bit of 20 inches, so. Uh, they're out here. We know they're out here. We've got trail cam pictures of them, and uh, it's just a matter of picking the right tree on the right day. We've got all this big uh, world out here, and we climb one tree, and uh, in hopes that that deer walks up underneath us. So, we've got to pick the right tree and be in there. They're not always going to be there, but eventually they'll walk underneath you. Just better hope you're in it. So, anyway. Uh, it is what it is. I'd still say uh, it's a uh, successful hunt. So, anyway, stay tuned.